The Young and the Restless spoilers reveal a day filled with tension, guilt, and complex relationships in Genoa City. Nikki Newman expresses deep concern for her granddaughter Faith Newman, who is struggling with intense guilt following a recent accident. Meanwhile, Jack Abbott and Billy Abbott have a chance to reconnect as they navigate their own personal challenges. During a dinner with Victor Newman, Nikki is visibly anxious and unable to eat due to her worries about Faith. Nikki is troubled by the fact that another accident in the family is linked to alcohol, and she is eager to see Faith, despite Nick's suggestion to wait until she's home. Faith, who is tormented by the accident, keeps replaying the events in her mind and blames herself for what happened. Despite reassurances from her parents, Sharon and Nick, that she did nothing wrong, Faith remains convinced that she is at fault. At the coffee house, Billy is approached by Jack, who expresses support for Billy's efforts at Chancellor Industries. However, tension arises when Billy insists on using the family name in his business dealings, which leads to a brief but heated exchange. Despite the tension, both brothers try to mend fences, especially when Chelsea Lawson and her son Connor Newman arrive. The encounter brings a moment of levity as Billy and Connor bond over a shared interest in Edgar Allan Poe, though Jack's mention of guilty consciences adds an awkward undertone to the conversation. Faith's struggle with guilt becomes more apparent. Nikki and Victor discuss Faith's previous accident, recalling the time Adam Newman saved her life with a kidney donation. This conversation leads to reflections on the tragic death of Cassie Newman and the toll it has taken on Sharon over the years. Faith, trying to reassure her parents, acknowledges the skills they've given her to cope with tough times but remains burdened by the recent events. Sharon and Nick attempt to lift Faith's spirits by planning a comforting return home, though Faith is more concerned about Lucy Romilotti's well-being, which sparks a tense reaction from Sharon. Later, Chelsea and Billy share a moment after Connor leaves for a therapy appointment. Chelsea thanks Billy for being supportive, but the strain in their relationship is evident. Billy, still reeling from recent betrayals, admits that he's not ready to forgive yet, despite Chelsea's efforts to salvage their relationship. Billy's confession that he still loves Chelsea, but doesn't know what that means anymore, leaves Chelsea clinging to a glimmer of hope. Victor and Nikki discuss the ongoing turmoil at Chancellor Industries, with Victor asking Nikki to gather information about the fallout between Lily Winters and Billy. Nikki reflects on Catherine Chancellor's legacy, expressing doubt that the takeover will proceed as Victor expects. Meanwhile, Billy and Lily struggle with their professional and personal conflicts, as Lily regrets pushing Billy too hard and Devin Hamilton offers her a job, which she declines. Sharon continues to struggle with her emotions, exacerbated by hallucinations of Cameron, who taunts and mocks her, making her question her sanity. As Nick tries to help Sharon process everything, Cameron's presence in her mind becomes increasingly overwhelming, leading to a tense and confusing exchange that leaves Sharon emotionally exhausted. The episode concludes with Billy revealing to Jack that Chelsea's betrayal involved Adam, adding another layer of complexity to the tangled relationships in Genoa City.